Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for always coming out here. May God bless you all. It was recommended that the least that the Buhari led APC administration could do is to resolve the conflict of ideologies in Nigeria by enacting a new constitution having democracy as the sole national ideology and not attempt to worsen an already barred situation by giving political preference to a, a particular region if any successful election we hold in, in 2023. In a report on July 30, 2022, by Iwok Enebong, the election observers heard that the government of the United Kingdom has warned that the 2023 general elections may not hold in Nigeria if the current spark of violence and insecurity continues. Moreover, the 2023 elections will depart from some of the political dynamics that defend previous elections in the country, the report added. Chris Bicourt, Director of Foreign Common Rights and Development Office in the United Kingdom made a submission Friday during the launch of the Nigerian Governance Forum Peace and Inclusive Security Initiative, Peace in Abuja. Big Front identified active insurgents in the Northeast, the farmers' elders' conflict, which are extending across the country, resource conflict in the Niger Delta detention in the southeast and banditry in the northwest are some of the major challenges. The Nigerian Supreme Council Ekizasika Affairs has ascertained, ascended, I beg your pardon, to the charge by the UK government, restating the fact that if the current spark of violence and insecurity continues, sadly, the 2023 general elections may not hold in the, in the country. The Umbrella Christian Supreme Council says that Nigerians' lives matter and no countries would take Nigeria seriously on 2023 election if the Christians are being so persecuted and everyone is being kidnapped, slaughtered, and massacred by Islamist terrorists and jihadists as it is ongoing in the nation. Speaking, Bishop von Miloyo Adesuya Davis, the Secretary at our Council, added, the spark of kidnappings and killings is a dirty slap on the face of Nigerians, and we can no longer take it, no bear up, okay? We can no longer take it, nor bear up it. I beg your pardon. However, the UK government official said a solution is definitely possible, but it requires all stakeholders to work together. He noted that why the mili military and the police need to be strengthened, the solution to Nigerian security challenge does not lie in that alone, but in reconciliation, meditation, arbitration, and access to justice as well. We are the critical junction in Nigerians' journey, and now is an important movement for new thinking and action to build a more peaceful future for all Nigerians. Be confident, said. The Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office values our relationship with the Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF, and have supported the NGF through our programs, including the most recently technical assistance provided in farming, in framing the Peace and Inclusive Security Initiative, PC. Nigeria faces significant peace and security challenges. There is an active insurgence in the Northeast. Farmer elder conflicts are extending across the country. Resource conflicts in the Delta, in the Delta tension in the southeast and banditry in the northwest. Speaking further, he said, rise in conflict wreaks this 
tribalizing Nigerians' democracy in the run-up to the 2023 elections. Conflict destroys lives, destroys livelihoods, destroys hope and ambition for the future. Conflict represents an essential threat to Nigerians' unity and its development. The police and army are in urgent need of reform, but the solution to Nigerians' instability does not lie in simply strengthening the police and arm, but rather in building an effective social con contact, building federal, the state, local, the state, the local and community level infrastructure to manage conflict and in giving young people jobs and opportunities so they have a stake in the prosperous, peaceful Nigeria. Injustice and impunity wreck justice institutions, the proliferation of small arms and weapons, the weaponization of social media are all drives of conflict and instability. But with right commitment, dedication and support, there are solutions. The UK Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, FCDO, recognizes the important role the NGF plays in settling the peace and security agenda, building state level and community level structures and institutions to reduce violence and respond to conflict and insecurity across Nigeria. The FIDO is need to continue its collaboration with and support for government of Nigeria in its efforts to deal with the mountain insecurity. The UK is pleased to have been able to support this initiative and is committed to continue working with the Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF, in advancing its peace and security agenda. The UK is engaged in supporting Nigeria to reduce violent conflict in a number of areas. We promote a regional response in the Northeast and Lake Chad through our contribution to the regional stabilization facility, RI, RCF, and delivering of programs on peaceful building humanitarian assistance, protection of civilians, human development, and good governance and accountability, they said. In a follow-up report on August 2nd, 2022, by Opinion Nigeria, the Nigerian President Major General Muhammad Buhari retired on Tuesday in Abuja said his regime had given the military full freedom to end the insecurity in the country, which he called madness. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for this coming out here.